talking about occupations. This free English lesson is sponsored by the following English learning sites. Today, we're going to talk about occupations or jobs. What do you do for a living? This is a common question to ask a person about his or her job or occupation. Other questions are, what is your occupation? What do you do? What kind of work do you do? A simple answer might be, I'm a dentist. I'm an engineer. She's a doctor. He's a lawyer. You can also answer by mentioning the place you work. I'm a sales clerk at Valmark. You can mention both your job and place of employment. I work for the chain company, or just the company. I work at Ample Computers. At means the location. I work for the UPX company. For means you're performing a service for the company. I work for Bamazon. Sometimes you only need to mention the company name. What do you do at UPX? I'm a... Mention your job title. For example, I'm a scientist. I verb. Tell about the things you do. For example, I teach. I, verb plus object. Be more specific. For example, I teach computer skills. You can also ask someone more information about their job. How interesting. That's interesting. What do you teach? What do you do in your job? Do you work from home? or at an office? How long have you worked there? What if you aren't currently working? Being a student is also an occupation. It is what occupies your time. I'm a student at George University. I'm studying physics. You can also mention future career plans. I'm preparing to be an architect. I'm taking courses in web design. I'm getting my real estate license. If you don't have a full-time job, be positive about what you do. I'm a stay-at-home mom or stay-at-home dad. That's actually a full-time job. I'm retired. I'm looking for work right now. I'm between jobs. So, what do you do? Well, I talk about your occupation. Here are some sample jobs. Doctor, businesswoman, businessman, mechanic. To see more jobs, Click on the links in the description below. Test yourself. Do you know the English words for these occupations? More occupations. Did you get them all right? Number one, carpenter. Number two, store clerk or cashier. Number three, photographer. Number four, singer. Number five, gardener. Number six, chef or cook. Number seven, librarian or maybe a teacher. Number eight, pilot. 
Can you think of other occupations? To talk about other people's jobs, you need to use third person singular in the present tense. For example, my friend is a consultant. She helps people with their companies. She listens to their problems and offers them advice about business. Here's a matching exercise about people in different about what people in different jobs do. Occupation, mechanic, teacher, dentist, doctor, nurse, journalist, fisherman, gardener, chef, cook, firefighter, photographer. Practice making sentences like this. A mechanic fixes cars. A chef cooks meals. Match the occupation on the left with the activity on the right. Feel free to pause the video if you'd like more time for practice. Check your answers. A mechanic fixes cars. A teacher teaches classes. A dentist pulls teeth. A doctor or nurse takes care of patients. A journalist writes news stories. A fisherman catches fish. A gardener plants flowers. A chef or cook cooks meals. A firefighter puts out fires. A photographer takes pictures. Here's a sample conversation about occupations. What do you do for a living? What is your occupation? I'm a mechanic. A mechanic? That must be a lot of work. It is. Every day I fix cars. How interesting. How many cars do you fix? I fix about eight cars every day. Practice the conversation using the jobs and activities you just learned. Feel free to go back to the previous page to get information about jobs and activities. Pause the video if you'd like more time for practice. Free talking. Number one, talk about your own occupation. What kind of work do you do? Describe a typical day at your job. 2. Talk about someone else's occupation and what he or she does. Use third person singular for this. For example, Mr. Tan works at a pharmacy. 3. Have a conversation with a partner. Ask and talk about each other's jobs.
pause the video and take as much time as you'd like for this activity. Hope that was helpful. For more information, check out the links in the description below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. Learn more English at eslgold.com.